Let us explore isosceles triangles. An isosceles triangle has one angle that measures 64 degrees. What are the measures of other two angles? We are given four choices. The other two angles could be 58 and 58 or could be 52 and 64, both A and B or none of them. So think over it, write down your solution and then look into my suggestion. Well, let's take different scenarios possible in this given situation. We are given isosceles triangle. That means that we should draw triangles with same two sides, right? So I'm drawing two triangles for the time being. So in one of them, I'm assuming that the given angle is 64, which is the vertex, right? And these two are equal sides. So we can find, so these angles have to be equal and both should be x and they should add up to 180 degrees. So that is one way we can do it. The other way is that we can think this is an isosceles triangle and one of the equal angle is 64. That means this angle is 64 degrees and the other one is also 64 degrees. So that gives us the second scenario and we can find what value is for the vertex angle. So these are the two different approaches which you could adopt and then get all possible answers, correct? Now, if you adopt this approach, 64, then it is 180 degrees minus 64 will give you 2x, right? And dividing by 2 gives you the answer for x, which will be 58, correct? So these two angles are 58. Now, if I look into this, then I can solve it like 180 degrees minus 2 times 64 degrees, right? So if I do 180 degrees minus 2 times 64 degrees, what do I get? I will get 52 degrees, correct? That gives me solution B. That one of the angles is 52 degrees, the other one is 64, right? Because one angle is given to us. And therefore, we get the answer which is both A and B. Do you see that? So that is how this question can be solved. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.